I have a SIG 239. Uh, it's a compact gun, but the gun came into Canada with a Canada legal barrel. And all that means is the barrel is uh, 106 millimeters or longer. And that will bring it from a prohibited status into a non-restricted status. And I will let you be the judge whether or not that little bit of barrel sticking out is bothersome or unappealing in its looks or if it's just one of those things that we have to put up with in order to be able to enjoy, you know, uh, a Canadian pastime. And uh, Now for those of us with a slightly less girlish figure, I've got my Pair Ordnance 1911 GI Expert. This, as we had mentioned, is a pistol, of course, and therefore is restricted here in Canada. It's 45 ACP, as are most 1911s. Let's see what we can do. Flawless. Guys, I have in my hand two uh, Glock OEM mags. Uh, original mags in my to the right you see it's just a factory 10 round mag no problems coming or going from Canada of course keeping in mind where it's going to if that's the case uh, on the left hand side you can see I have a 17 round mag and if you notice that little bit of a rivet there limits the capacity again to 10 rounds so regardless of caliber uh, if it's a pistol 10 rounds is the max you can get in the gun. Of course, if you chamber one and insert a fresh mag, you're sitting at 11 rounds total. Um, but these are just some of the things, some of the challenges that manufacturers have bringing in their firearms and their components into Canada is ensuring that they are compliant with our laws. And of course, the handguns, Glock 17 Gen 4, very popular in Canada, the States, and pretty much around the world. Um, their marketing is fantastic. I love Gunny. Didn't get a chance to see him at this year's SHOT Show, unfortunately. And flinch.